while you standing to your feet, we gon' we gon' kick this thing. It been kicking off, but you know we gon' we gon' take it on home tonight. Is that all right? Amen. Before we take it on home, let's prepare our hearts, Amen, for our honorees today. Amen. I know you all have been celebrating. Y'all have been giving God glory. And amen. Don't y'all stop now. Y'all hear what I say? Don't y'all stop now. So as you stand to your feet, all around the room, let us welcome the first family of Mount Zion Tabernacle, Pastor First Lady Murray, and the first family of Mount Zion
And as they send up their prayer and petition, dear God, that you will grant them favor, God, that you will meet their needs, dear God. Lord, I thank you, dear God, for the word, God, for the messenger that's going to bring the word, God. Open our ears that we may hear what your spirit has to say to me, God. I pray, dear God, that you just move by your spirit, God, for you are truly welcome in this place, dear God. Lord, I pray, dear God, and I thank you, God, that you will do a mighty thing in this place right now. In the name of Jesus, dear God. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable unto you, my God, my Savior, our Redeemer. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. We come this far by faith. They should say this. I will trust in God. Sing it like you mean. some more praise. I didn't come all the way from Obito to look at you, you, and you. I'm happy to see my brother and my son. But I feel like David when he said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go. Y'all still ain't ready. Let us go into the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm glad this morning, not this morning, this afternoon, y'all know how us preachers are, but I'm glad this afternoon, if you don't know me, let me, let me come down, let me come down, y'all can have a seat if you feel like it, let me look at this program, but I know my brother, and he looks at this program, but with the expectation of the Holy Ghost, so if the Holy Ghost makes the difference, y'all might as well get on this train, That's the only way I can do anything with the Holy Ghost as my guide. But if you do not know me, I bring you humble greetings from Greater Mount Zion, House of God, Saints of Christ, who will be no Lord. Hallelujah. Well, we believe in hand clapping, foot stomping, tongue talking, but most of all, living right. And I'm so glad to be on this side of the mountain with my brothers and sisters of the faith. They never, Orlando don't know what to do with us when we get together. Hallelujah. And I'm so happy to be here celebrating this wonderful occasion. Come on, let's give God another hand praise for our honorees on this afternoon. Pastor and First Lady Murray and the First Family. Amen. We're going to go ahead on with our praise and worship. Amen. And we're going to ask our Mount Zion team to come. They already ready. And amen, I just want y'all to know, I think y'all already know, but I'm just going to say it anyway. They ain't here to entertain y'all. They're here to lead us in praise and worship. Amen, somebody. And I declare that if you get with it, God will bless you. So let's put our hands together for Mount Zion. Praise to him.
to repent and be baptized. One for the 
while you're clapping your hand, give him the highest praise. What is the highest praise? The highest praise is hallelujah. Open up your mouth again. Give God on Shabbat praise. Hallelujah. Shabbat God in this place. Shabbat God in this place. He's worthy. He's worthy. Of all the praise, he inhabits the praises of his people. All oh, that men would praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. This is y'all. That's it.
announcement and welcome by evangelist Geraldine C. Wherefore, it is also contained in the scripture, Behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone. Elect precious, and he that believeth on him shall not be confounded. Welcome to Mount Zion, where you will love your what? Leave you. These are announcements. On March the 11th, 2018, Pastor will be preaching at 4 p.m. at Chosen Generation Church, amen, in Orlando, Florida. April the 8th, 2018, at 4 p.m., Pastor will be preaching at Shekinah Lutheran Church over in Kissimmee, Florida. Amen. Amen. As for all leaders, praise team, please govern yourself accordingly. Now we will have a special announcement by L.L. Thompson. Amen. 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 I like that promotion. <laughs> April 14th, uh, all brothers, please come out. Uh, Holy Man Conference. Um, the tickets are $20. Only the strong will survive. Amen. That's, that's, that's the thing. Amen. So all the brothers in the pulpit and all the brothers in the congregation, I want to see your face in the place. All right. All right. All right. I'm, I'm, making, I'm making eye contact with everybody. <laughs> Amen. Now on that note, on March the 17th, 2018, we go Amen. Amen. Our tickets are $20. We're at the spot event over in Edgewater. Amen. 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 So we just want to say thank you, our friends, for worshiping with us today. Our prayer is that you could discover the limitless love that the Father has for you. Mount Zion Tabernacle Christian Church is a place of worship. Whereas we as believers, we're simmered through our faith in God, focus in Jesus Christ, and fellowship through the Holy Spirit. We want to say welcome from our Pastor Lord and our First Lady Murray. Amen. 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 So forth. model for 2018 it says in 2018 only the strong will survive that's pastor murray's motto um, if y'all want a shirt um they're 15 dollars y'all can get with me i order y'all one um then this card says anniversary anniversary wishes for both of you But it says, wishing you the kind of day that truly celebrates your anniversary and leaves you feeling happy and proud of the wonderful couple you are. Happy anniversary. And First Lady has her own envelope. Y'all don't have to share this time. Woo! <laughs> but, um, you know, we always, we're we going to take care of you guys. Okay, we just want to say we love you, First Lady. <laughs> You know, you might ride or die. I got a band. We all can get in the whole women's night. You can get in there and ride in. <laughs> to celebrate your anniversary. Today's your anniversary, a perfect time to say that you are always thought of in a very special way. And 
with these thoughts come wishes for good luck, good health, and cheer. Not only now, but every day throughout the coming year. Pastor Murray also has a shirt with his 2018 slogan on it. But um, the women had to have silver, you know. We, My turn. We ain't gonna be like that. We love y'all. Thank you guys for everything you've done for us. We pray for you guys all day. Keep, us, they keep y'all in our prayers. And from the praise team, we love you. What are you saying? Can I get all married couples to come up for me at this time? All married couples. trying to get organized here. <laughs> and this, you know, we would just like to say from the couple ministry, which you guys are our first couple, and we know anybody that's officiated with the couple ministry knows we've been having a lot of fun with different events we've been having. Well, with that in mind, I got this poem that I wrote that I want to read to you. If you like it, he, is, he did it. If you don't, he didn't do it. <laughs> And it goes, as I see you standing behind the altar, reading from God's holy word, I reminisce back to all the ultimate blessed sermons we have heard. There are no secrets why God brought you out, because many of the times your joy has made a shout. You see, Pastor, there's a reason why God saved your soul, because he knew you serving him with all your heart would be, would be your for lifelong goal. You see, Pastor, there's a reason that God chose. Know not you, not know not your good looks, no hair, or stylish clothes. <laughs> no, Pastor, that's not the reason why God stopped that ambulance in the middle road to save you. But not little, no doubt, because He knew how you would turn out. You see, Pastor, the reason why you mean so much to us is that we love you and it, it's Jesus that we see in you and a holy man that God and that we have never heard you cuss. So in this first step, we so gratefully trod because we know that in following you, we are following God. Amen. So happy Sabbath anniversary from the couple's ministry. Medicare for the both of you all. 
along with the, uh, you know, you don't have to uh, give them a tip. It's already in there. And for the uh, the children, there is a gift for you all, some goodies. And in case you want to go see Black Panther, you can ha you have money to go and see the movie and buy treats. Let me give the fans permission. Come on, let's give them a hand. These ministries that I've sold into their house. After seven years, I'm sold into them. And that's what it's all about. And they got one more. Come on. You got one more? Come out to say thank you. I really love you guys. Tonight, I thought I'd have my sister, um, Reverend Daytanya Bolden Mitchell, to come and give a solo. Woo! Okay. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We, your heart and soul, say yes to the Lord. Yes. By you running for seven years, I know your heart is committed to God. Hallelujah, Jesus.
good God. Every blood washed believer, that was for you tonight. Because all of us have something to do in the body of Christ. And the answer is, when you say yes, I don't know about y'all, but I stand here tonight and I say, Lord, yes to your will. Yes to your way. Yes, Lord, I will obey. Hallelujah. Seven years you've been saying yes. And I believe you're going to keep on saying yes. Ain't it all right? Come on, let's give God a little Amen. Let's prepare our hearts for worship and giving. Hallelujah. I tell you, those type of songs, you know, you you just got to stare at the person before you can even get up and get with it. Just stare at that coming out of her. <laughs> Hallelujah. God is good, amen. Man, I know we have a protocol of, I believe, seed generation will come by our worship and giving. And as they come, amen, this man of God has been pouring into this ministry, not just physically, but spiritually, monetarily, amen, and he has poured into your lives through the Holy Ghost, yes, yes. Amen. amen, and not just you here that belong to Mount Zion, there are ministers that are here that can attest that he's poured into us, hallelujah, and we are so grateful, amen, to have him as a brother. Amen. He's not somebody that somebody told me about. Amen. There was a time I said, who is this Murray fellow? Amen. First time I met him, amen. I, you know how some of y'all go to these concerts when y'all went say. All right. Uh, I'm trying to be nice. I, you know, I can't. And you know, you see the one that you've been waiting to see. And when they open up their mouth, you just be all in awe. Oh, y'all been saved all your life. Okay. When this man, when this young man opened up his mouth in Orlando on Short Avenue when I first heard him preach. See, I get like that when, when a man of God is preaching the unadulterated word of God. I get mesmer, mesmerized. Amen. And when he began to walk that Calvary cross, I was like, y'all know he can walk it. Look at me, he already passed her. And when he began to walk, and I say, oh, my God. Amen. God is a good God. And we want to pour into him tonight. Amen. And as they come and prepare, I ask, you know, I want to start this off and off with $100. Amen. We want to bless him tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. I want somebody, I want y'all to follow me here. Y'all follow me here if you can. Hallelujah. We're going to turn it over to the hand of Z Generation. Amen. Envelopes. <coughs> we all can stand for offering, please. Um, this beautiful basket right here is for the first family appreciation. So if you have love offerings to give them, you can place them in this one. For all of them. Yeah, all of them. Let's start from the rear. Work our way up.
you so on good ground tonight. We ask you to point your right hand this way. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you tonight, oh God, for what our hearts have done. And Father, bless everyone that had the mind to give tonight. We ask that you return to them some 60, some 80, some 100 fold. God, look on the hearts of those that had the mind but just weren't able to give. God, you know the circumstance. You know the need, oh God. We pray that you meet the need, and when they have another opportunity, they can do so, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh God, let it carry out what it's purpose to do. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Give yourselves a hand for what you've done tonight for the man and woman of God. Amen. This time we'll have an A and B selection by New Generation Elder Pump. Thank you. Let's thank God for Ella Palmer. Come on, Elder. Can somebody say yes, Lord? Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I'm with y'all. I got you. Hallelujah. Amen. We will stand, amen, for our scripture reading. Amen. Our scripture reading will be coming from Psalms 24. When you find it, can you say amen? Amen. amen. We'll be starting from the first verse. Psalms 24. Starting at the first verse. When you get it, can you say amen? amen. The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. Yes, sir. The world and they that dwell therein. For he has found it upon the seas and established it upon the floods. Who shall ascend into the hills of the Lord? Or who will stand in the holy place? He has clean hands and pure hearts, who have not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully. He shall receive the blessings from the Lord and the righteousness of God of his salvation. This generation of them that seek him and that seek his face, O Jacob. Lift up your lift up your head, O ye gate, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your hand, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts, he is the King of glory. May the Lord have a blessing to the reading of his most holy word. Amen. Amen. Let's thank God for Elder Palmer. He did good, didn't he? He did. Man. Amen. Amen. Now, is new generation here? Right behind y'all. Amen. Now, that's how that's how it ought to be. Amen. Hallelujah. But I thank God he got on up and ready. Amen. I thank God for Elder Palmer. That's my boy, man. That's my boy. Y'all see how he just said, I don't sing, brother. Will you say yes? <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. I've been, you all, every time I come in, I've had a good time wonderful, glorious time being your presider tonight. Amen. I know how to yield the floor. It's time for the word. It's time for the word. Hallelujah. I've enjoyed all the hors d'oeuvres, the appetizers. Now I'm ready for the main course. And I'm finna get out the way. So at this time, 
our Pastor Herky Walls of New Generation as they come. Let's thank God for I'm going to. Amen. I'm going to do this, y'all. I'm going to do Let me bring him up. Amen. As Pastor Walls come and New Generation, they in charge now. Let's thank God for them as he come. I was here a year ago. Last three years. And all I said, if he let me come back one more time, we gonna have a hallelujah time. Stand to your feet right now. I said, everybody, stand to you. If you physically able. If you physically able to stand up, I want you to stand up and look at somebody dead in their eyes. Look at them, look at them. And say, it's so good to see you. You looking good? It's so good to see you. Now look at somebody else and tell them, if you got an attitude, I ain't got time to deal with you. Now give the Lord a big old hand clap. Yes, sir, sit down, sit down. Yes, sir, I won't be long. I won't be long. I won't be long now. Now, now, now if, if, if y'all ready. See, I, I'm going to look at you eyeball, eyeball. See, I'm from Texas. See, we old school. When, when, when we old school, what I mean by old school, we believe in hand clapping. We believe in giving God all the praises. And if you're tired, get untied. Because I won't be long, but I just want to tell you, when I think about Jesus, yeah. what he's done for me, when I think about Jesus, how he set me free, I can dance, 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 dance all night. Oh, oh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold on a second. Look here. When I think about Jesus, all he's done for me, when I think about Jesus, how he set me free, I can dance, 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 Oh, sit down. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm at Mount Zion. I'm sorry. Let, let, let's sit down. Let's sit down. Oh, am I in the right place? Am I in the right place? Now listen, listen. I'm going to try this one more game. I don't know about you. I don't know how you feel. When I think about Jesus and all he done for me. When I think about Jesus. How he set me free, I can dance, 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 dance all night. Oh, now we got it. What happened? Hold up, hold up, stop for a minute. Hold on. Listen here. Me, me, me and Stanley, we go way back. We go way back. See, we gonna have church like we gonna have church. Now, if you got a problem and you wanna leave, don't go. But I'm about to give you a word that this word gonna change your life. So all I want you to do, I just want you to kind of loosen up a little bit. Just move, just move your shoulders a little bit. Just move your shoulders. Now listen, I want you to look at somebody dead in their eyes and say, you know what? I'm tired of playing church. No, you didn't look at them. You didn't look at them. Look at them in their eyes and say, I'm tired of playing church. Some real church. So if you want to have some real church, you can stand by me. But if you don't want to have no real church, get out my way. Now, 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 I know, I know. Y'all sit down, sit down. Sit down, sit down. Sit down. To me, sit down. Sit down. How y'all doing? Doing all right. Don't go to where musicians. I ain't gonna be long. I ain't gonna be long. See, I'm old school. I'm 56 years old. And mama taught me one thing. When you go to church, 
don't play church. See, we got all these bells and whistles. We got to be able to do, you know, them flashing lights, Stanley. You know, we don't need no flashing lights. All we need is the Holy Ghost. That's all I need. So all I'm asking you, whenever you think about Jesus and all he's done for you, when I want Jesus back to me, I want you to just set me free. Does he set you free? If he set you free, say he set me free. Say I'm free. I'm free indeed. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now, now y'all done. six years. I played college football for four years, then. And see, in the first half, in the first half of the game, you, you got the okay players. See, you came in praise and worship, you was on fire. And then you kind of, you, you got tired. You can't get tired working for the Lord. You got to praise Him in the morning. You got to praise Him in the moon night. You got to praise Him at night. I'm going to praise Him every chance Church, I am Pastor Herky Walls. On the absence of my first lady wife Renee, Sister Tamika, she had to work today. I told Pastor Stanley she had to work today. My wife is in the business where all of us gonna have to go one day. She's in the funeral home business. And one day, the only way you go get to the other side. You got to go and lay down. Is that right? The only way you 
can go, you got to lay down. So my wife says she wanted to be here, but there she had like three services a day. See, see, Pastor, Pastor, we celebrate, but somebody else celebrate. So see, when, when, when you think about the goodness and all he's done for you, your soul got to cry out. Hallelujah. My new generation family, we want to just say hello. Uh, man, I, I got a word for you. If, if it ain't but for Brother Stanley and Sister Tamika, the Bible says we're two or three. So see, when, when I saw Pastor and I saw Sister Tamika, we gonna have a church. Watch this. With or with. So I, I, I want to thank all my fellow brothers that's in the war with me. I want to encourage you to keep on fighting. Man, keep reading that Bible. Don't let the devil stop you, young man. He, he, he was in the office. He only 36. 34, my bad. He 34, I'm 56. I said, come on, man. Come on. Come on. Keep on preaching the word of God. We need young men like you. Talk to me, somebody. I'm already preaching. You don't even know. See, we as people, I want to make sure everybody see it. The Muslims. I uh, heard Stanley. We heard Stanley. We heard Stanley. They said, whatever you do, make sure the mothers up here. You got to make sure they happy because if they ain't happy, see, these mothers here, they be praying. These women here be praying. So I'm going to make sure I'm, I'm going to direct everything right at y'all because I need your prayer. Pray for me. Pray for me. Please pray for me. Amen. God bless you. But I want to thank uh, Pastor Stanley Mary. I love what you said, young man. This man got me. Six, seven years ago, he caught me at a time. Okay, I'm, I'm going to talk to the real Holy Ghost field for about time. Have you ever been so mad at somebody that your flesh was ready to do something that you know that you... If I'm talking to you, raise your hand. I just want to make sure I ain't the only one up in him. That it, but if it wasn't for this man right here, see what happened. Uh, this is what happened. Stanley, and, and Pastor, forgive me if I call you Stanley. We, 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 we old school. See, Stanley came at me, and I had just got kicked out of a church. See, if you ain't never been kicked out of church, you don't know what. See, they, see, they don't, they don't teach you that in seminary school. See, see, Sister Tamika, they don't teach you how folks go treat you when you stand behind this, this podium. And, and when you, you stand up two or three o'clock in the morning asking the Lord, what should I tell the people? And when you tell the people the truth, they get on you. Am I talking to anybody in the house? So they kicked me out of my church. My church was growing over 300 people. The deacons. The deacons, Sister Tamika, they had a little meeting. You know how deacons are. But you ain't got them over here. You ain't got them over here. So you bless. Them deacons sat down and they said, well, Pastor Herkin, you can't be doing no more altar calls because you making church too long. I said, well, if we ain't baptizing, say so, say so. If we ain't soul winning, all we doing is entertaining. I don't know about you, but according to my word, it says baptize. It says soul saving. My question to you, when the last soul you done saved? When the last time you done told somebody how good Jesus been for you? See, we too quiet Christians. I ain't no quiet Christian. I'm going to let you know. I'm going to let you know right now. Run up on me. I got a daddy named Jesus. Come on. Come on up on me. You know what? You know what? You know what? I got goodness and I got mercy. I got
got the Holy Ghost inside me. Am I the only one talking up here? But, but this man right here, Stanley, if it wasn't for you, see, I, I had that football mentality. See, when you have that football mentality, your goal is to try to knock somebody out. Oh, good. I'm so glad I got the right church. All right. Okay, Stanley, I know this. God bless you. I'm going to preach you in a minute, but hold on a second. I ain't got nowhere to go. I waited for you. You wait for me. You wait for me. I'll wait for you. You know, we're here together. Matter of fact, when we go to heaven, all we're going to do is dance all day. And we're going to let Jesus do the teaching. Can you just imagine what Jesus going to have? He going to teach? I wonder what he going to look like. Do you know I got so many questions for Jesus? First of all, I'm going to say, Lord, let me ask you one question. <laughs> have you ever asked? Have you ever thought about, see, oh, you too fleshly. You ain't thinking about what you're going to say to Jesus. I got one question I'm going to ask you. Lord, why did you choose me to preach your word? Have you ever asked him that? Why did he choose you? Why did he choose you? Why did he choose you? Christian, why did he choose you? You know why he chose you? Because you got him inside you. But I got a, I got, I got a word today for you. That, that when you leave here, when you go to work or when you go home, your whole mindset will change. How many of y'all ready for a good, good, good? You know what? You know Stanley, I went to the doctor six years ago. And the doctor said, you want the good news or the bad news? Anybody ever been there? Yeah. I said, doc, give me the bad news. I can deal with the good news later. He said, Hercules, my daddy named me. Why are you laughing at me? That's my dad. My daddy named me that. He said, Hercules, if you don't start eating better, you are going to be out of him. How many of you know like the Lord will tell you ways to get you to think? So I laid off the Pepsi. Oh, I'm talking to somebody. Up here. I'm trying to help you out, folks. Watch it. I'm trying to help you out. That's our problem. This soul food. Oh yeah, I'm finna step on all your toes. The big one, the little one, the small one. I'm gonna step on all, all this soul food killing up. He said also, oh yeah, 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 I ain't done yet. I ain't even got to the scripture yet. He also said you better leave this apple pie stuff alone. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, I hear you. But I changed my lifestyle. Now I'm able to travel. I'm able to preach two and three times a week. I'm able to have my own radio show. And I'm physically fit to share the word of God. We Christians. We Christians. How you going to teach the word and you out of breath? Oh, I'm stepping on. I got out my foot is size 12 and a half. I know, I know, Pastor, Pastor, Pastor Stanley gonna be like, her, her. Why, why you come back and do this? Anyway, on behalf of Sister Tamika, Pastor Stanley, man, I love y'all. Y'all know I, I love this couple. You know, there's only certain people you'll fight for. Yeah, yeah. Come on, real folks. Real folks. How many how many of you know if, if I hear, if I hear anybody messing with Tamika. If 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 let me talk, let me talk, let me talk. If I hear somebody whispering. About Sister Tamika, I'm gonna get all up in your face. 
I know, Stanley. I know. I know. You talk about him, you talking about me. You mess with him, you messing with me. And you better hope. But I'm just telling you how much I love y'all. <laughs> My Zion Tabernacle Christian Church, your seventh year church anniversary. And, and, and as I was uh, listening, uh, the meaning of the number seven, it is used 735 times. 54 times in the book of Revelation. The number seven is the foundation of God's word. Stanley, you've been teaching and preaching the foundation of God's word for the last seven years. And my brother, I want to encourage you to keep on. Seven is completeness. It's perfection. Talk to me, somebody. I ain't gonna got all day. And best in case you don't know, I was a sprinter, world class sprinter. Nineteen eighty. I know you know the nineteen eighty. They boycotted the Olympics. President Carter. For those of you who remember, he boycotted the Olympics, so we couldn't go over to Russia. So I couldn't go over there and run. I was the third leg on the 4 by 100 relay. That crushed me. But how many of you know God had another plan? Yes. Right. See, sometimes when you think you know what you got planned, God go come in and just upside your head and let you know you ain't running. As I was looking at the theme, Convicted by purpose. Converted by his promise. I looked at that theme and, so, and then I looked at Matthew 7, 14. And it says straight is the gate. And narrow is the way. Which leadeth unto life and few. Not, not, not a whole lot. Look at, look at me. I want you. Uh, give, give me, come on, I got some big eyes so I can see you. Everybody ain't going to heaven. What you say? Amen. Amen. Oh, you gonna just sit there? You better get your life right. Okay. Robert T. Bennett said this, and I quote: "If you have a strong purpose in life, you don't have to be pushed. Your passion will drive you." Can I say that again? Can I say that again? If you have a strong purpose in life, you don't have to be pushed. Your passion will drive you. End quote. So now I'm ready. There's a story. How many of you got your weapons with you? How many of you got your sword with you? Stand to your feet in honor of the word. There's a story that takes place in the book of Acts. Where we have a person doing what he thought was right. Have you ever done something that you thought were right? Up until Jesus steps in? Look, look, look with me in Acts chapter 9. When you find it, say, I got it, Pastor. Acts chapter 9, verse number 1. And it reads like this. And Saul, yet breathing out, threatening and slaughter against the disciples of the Lord, yes. went into the high priest and desired of him letters to Damascus, to the synagogue, that if he found any of this way, watch this, whether they were men or women, he might bring them bound unto Jerusalem. Watch this. 
verse 3. And as he journeyed, he came near Damascus. Uh -huh. And suddenly, somebody say suddenly. suddenly. There was a light that shined around him. Uh -huh. And that light was from heaven. And watch this. And he fell to the earth and heard a voice. Have you ever heard a voice? Yeah. Saying unto him, Saul, Saul, why persecuted thou me? Uh -huh. And he said, Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, I am Jesus, whom thou persecutest. And Jesus messed him up said, It is hard for thee to kick against the pricks. And he trembled. And the star and, and, and the star said, Lord, <laughs> have you ever cried out the Lord? Yeah. Lord, <laughs> what would thou have me to do? Yes, sir. And the Lord said unto him, Arise and go into the city, and it shall be told thee what thou must do. And the men which journeyed with him stood speechless, hearing a voice, but seeing no man. And Saul arose from the earth, and when his eyes were open, that's amazing, he saw no man, but they led him by the hand and brought him into Damascus. And he was there how many days? Without how many sights? None. Neither did he eat nor drink. And there was a certain disciple at Damascus named Ananias. And to him said the Lord in a vision, Ananias... And he said, Behold, I am here, Lord. And the Lord said unto him, Arise and go into the street, which is called what? Straight. Which is called what? Straight. And inquire in the house of Judas for one called Saul of Tarsus. For behold, he prayeth, and hath seen in a vision a man named Ananias as coming in and putting his hand on him, that he might receive his sight. Before you sit down, I want you to look at somebody. With all the buoyancy, with all the attitude, you can look at them, look at them, and tell them it's time, it's time. to straighten up. Straight you may be seated in the presence of the Lord. It's time to straighten up. Have you ever been told as a little child to straighten up? Oh, come on, come on, folks. See, I was brought up when it was called a switch. If anybody know what a switch is, just wave at me. Just wave at me. All right, I'm going to break it down. I'm, I'm, talking, I'm looking for you real folks to me because I know you're going to raise your hand. How many of you ever had a shoe come at your way? Oh, okay. Oh, I think I'm in the right place. Not only there was a switch. How many of you know there was not only a, a shoe that come at you, but how many of you know your mama would bust you in public? Come on, man. Talk to me, somebody. See, I, 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 I'm going to say it, Stanley. That's what's wrong with the world today. I can't get no amen from that. can't get no amen from that. See, we, 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 we don't let the children take over. But can I tell you, as for me and my house, we go what? Serve the Lord. See, I'm not afraid of my daughter. I'm not afraid of my son. Matter of fact, it's real simple. If you don't straighten up, I, I'm going to straighten you up. In today's world, in today's world, we got so many people doing whatever they want to do. That's what's wrong with America. You come to church. Well, uh oh. You come to church crooked. Oh, am I talking to you? Okay, I must be the only one, Tamika, that come to church crooked. Okay, let me see how many people, when you come to church, you're crooked. Oh, how many perfect people we got in here? That's what I thought. I'm going to say this one more time. We come to church crooked. Come on, musicians, I'm waiting on you. You laid back. You can't be laid back. We got places to go. I told y'all I was a sprinter. We come to church crooked, waiting for the man of God to get us straight. But what we need to do is get straight before we get here. All we're supposed to do is 
what he puts in us, we should take that, put it in us, and go on. Say, tell somebody close to you, straighten up. Have you ever been told in school? <laughs> Have you ever been told in school to straighten up? See, I knew my I knew what I was gonna be when I was a little boy. I talked and talked and talked and talked. You can move me in the back of the room. You can move me close to the desk. You can move me close to the door. You can put me by the window. I'm still go. What about this? Have you ever been on a job and they told you if you don't straighten up, they go fire you? Sometimes you want to be fired from your job. I, I, I knew I wasn't going to get a whole lot on that. That was in my notes. You will not get one amen on that one. Because people, oh, oh, people are depending on their job and not depending on Jesus. See, when you depend on your job, your job will let you down. But Jehovah Jireh. Anybody know anything about Jehovah Jireh? Jehovah Jireh is who provides, not provider. So when you call on Jehovah Jireh, my provider, that means you straighten it up. I'm not helping anybody around here. You sitting here looking at me like I'm just like this. I know I'm crazy, but I'm crazy for Jesus. See, I'm going to straighten up with or without you. Do you know when Jesus straightened you out, you will have no other choice? Has Jesus, I know Stanley, and I know Tamika, they know what I'm talking about. Have you ever been going down the road, and you know you're going down the wrong road, but you want to go down that wrong road anyway? All right, all right, you Holy Ghost feel sanctified, feel power of the Holy Ghost, folks. When the last time you've been in a nightclub? All right. Oh, I'm coming eyeball eyeball. <laughs> Sometimes when you go to them nightclubs, oh, oh, ain't nobody in here going to no nightclubs. But some of your friends go to nightclubs. And they get in trouble. They get in trouble at night. Ain't what mommy saying nothing good happening after what time? Midnight. Oh, can I tell y'all this real quick and I'm going to keep on preaching. Two weeks ago, I was at Stone Man Douglas High School. Two weeks ago, I was at Stone Man Douglas High School making a presentation. The athletic director who got passed away and the assistant coach who passed away. Let me tell you how good God is. See, when you, when it hits to your home, when it's close to you, yes, you want to straighten up. Yes, but when it's somebody else's kid, you know, it ain't going to affect me. It ain't going to bother me. But I was sitting in that office two weeks ago. Now, what in the world would I have done? I wouldn't be here, Stanley. But how many of you know God had a path for me? How many of you know Sometimes he'll put you somewhere. Talk to me, somebody. He'll put you somewhere. He'll remove you and put you over here to protect you from here. Have you ever bought a house and that house you never you couldn't get the loan? It was a reason. Wait a minute. Hold on. Sir. Hold on. Hold on sir. Oh, I just hit somebody upside. I just hit somebody upside the head. Have you ever tried to get a house and tried to get a house and you wonder why you couldn't get a house and finally you got the house? Well, it's because he didn't want you in that house. He wants you over there. And when you take it out of your hands and put it in God's hands, I'm going to say it one more time. When you take it out of your hands and put it in God's hands, I'm going to say it one more time. When you take it out of your hands and put it in God's hands, he will make a way. Oh, but ain't none of y'all ever been through nothing. Keep living. Why did Saul do what he thought was right to do? I looked at this scripture. 
Why did he do what he said he wanted to do? He wanted to seize the Christians and he wanted to prevent Christianity to spread. He wanted to stop the Christians from dealing with the Romans. Oh, did Saul do it to advance his career? Whatever his reason was, he was about to find out that when you mess with God's children, when you mess with God's children, you are in trouble. You talk about Stanley, you talk about Tamika, you in trouble. Touch not my anointed one and do my prophet no harm. Keep messing with him and see what's going to happen to you. Can I tell you this? Can I tell you this? <laughs> this is good. Somebody was talking about me. They were talking about me. <laughs> and I knew they were talking about me. But how many of you know when you pray for that person that's talking about you? Well, I do say, you Holy Ghost filled, fire baptized people. Ain't nobody ever talked about you when you pray for them? So when you know when I pray for them, you know what that happened? I got a phone call. Pastor, can you come visit me in the hospital? When you mess with God's people, how many of you are God's people? You all just put your, put your hand on your mind. Put your hand on your head. Put it on the head. And tell yourself. Tell your, say, self, I'm anointed. Self, I'm a child of God. Self, if they mess with me, they messing with the Lord. Now just give yourself a hand clap on top of your head. Why don't we think like that more? If you straighten up, Watch this. If you straighten up, you can think better. When you wake up in the morning, why are you doubting? Today is not tomorrow that you worried about yesterday. Oh, can I say it again? Today is that tomorrow that you worried about yesterday. Oh, you'll get that Wednesday night at Bible study. Jesus knows how to get your attention. Has Jesus ever got your attention? Let me see your hands. Won't Jesus get your attention? Won't he do it? Won't he do it? He will get your attention and he'll get it in a way that when he got your attention, he'll make you be still. The way he got Saul was by a bright light. I have a question for you. Yes. Several. How is Jesus getting your attention? A loss of a job? Someone who was dear to you? How about this? A close friend that betrayed you? Oh, I'm fixing to really step on your toes now. Anybody got any family members that hurt you before? Did it get your attention? My brothers and sisters. What do we need to do to straighten up? You want to know the answers? Number one, admit that you need to straighten up. When you admit that you need to straighten up, now you're on the right path. Do I got any, any perfect people in the house? Not one. How many of you admit that you've made a mistake just today? Let me see your hand. Just today. How about yesterday? Have you asked for forgiveness? Have you asked for forgiveness? What about number two? Confess. Say confess. Say confess. I, I, didn't, say, I didn't hear you. Conf I didn't hear you. The power of life and death is in your tongue. See, it really don't matter what you think about me. It ain't my business. So you can talk about me all you want, but remember, I'm a child of God. So when you confess that you're wrong, you know what? If I got a problem with Stanley, I'll go straight to him because we like that. That's 
how we like it. See, if I got a problem, see, if, but, but look here, I'm telling you right now, you mess with Sister Tamika, I got a problem. Because see, this is my sister in Christ. They on the battlefield. They on the battlefield with me. And so I wanted to come here on their seventh year church anniversary to encourage them. No matter what you're going through, God will deliver you. He will deliver you. Just keep on. Can, can, uh, you know what mama used to tell me? And I know y'all going to relate to this. Foot on them. You know what foot on them mean? Y'all don't know what foot on them mean? How about this? Long handle spoon? You know what long handle spoon means? I'm going to feed you. But it's going to be a long handle. So see, I don't trust you. I, I, you bless me, boy. You bless me. He, you said I got the isms. I said, what's the ism, Stanley? He said, trust him. I said, oh, I get it. So if you trust in the Lord, if you trust in the Lord, he'll show you the right way. How many of you need to straighten up? Stand to your feet if you need to straighten up. This is how you go straighten up. You got to repent. You got to repent. So what I want to do, if you don't mind, there's a song that I want to sing. Is it alright if I sing this song? And, and, and this song, man, let me tell you something. First of all, before we sing it, how many of you believe that Jesus Christ died for you? Yeah. Come on, let me see you. Yeah. You believe Jesus died for you? Yeah. Let me ask you this. Do you believe he went to the grave for three days? Yeah. Do you believe God raised him with all power yeah. in his hand? Yeah. And then raised him up yeah. with all power yeah. in his hand? Yeah. Welcome. welcome. Say welcome. welcome. Now there's a song. And I don't know if we got another mic, but I love this song. And, and, and I told him when, when he make billions of dollars, don't forget about me. Because this man can sing. Can y'all get this man another mic? Can, 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 can you get this man another mic? And, and uh, Pastor, if somebody, say something, say hello. Come on now, come on, I want to hear you. Check one, two, microphone check. Microphone check, one, two. Amen. Now, last year, last year, we sung a song. And all my people in Texas, all my people in California, all my people in Ohio said, who is that preacher? I said, you mean Stanley? They said, man, that man need to go on tour. I said, no, he's an officer. He got to take care of us down here. We can't go nowhere. But there's a song. And and, and do they know the song? Because I don't think they know it. Tamika, do they know anything about thank you? Do they know anything about thank you? Y'all sit down. I, I, Pastor, can I come down there? Y'all sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Somebody say straighten up. Somebody say straighten up. You know why you need to straighten up? Time's running out. Time's running out. It's time to y'all. And I'm talking to you, you, and you, and all of y'all. It's time to straighten up. See, we. Stanley and I, we don't need no bells and whistles. We don't need no big flashing lights. Y'all see these churches nowadays? You got to entertain them? I, really, I want the word. Say so. Look here. Look here. Look here. I want the word of God. Y'all look at me. It's the only way you go make it. Yes, it is. That's it. That's it. Brother, I remember you. Yes. I don't know what you're going through. But God go use you in a mighty way. Yes. 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 I'm standing. I'm standing. I get beat. Did you hear me? Yes, 
don't know who he is, yes, sir. but God's fixing to use you. Yes, sir. You better get your war clothes on. Yes, sir. Amen. You put on the belt of righteousness. Yes, sir. You shot your feet with the gospel of a preparation of yes, Put on the breastplate of righteousness. Yes, Above all, get yes, the shield of faith. Yes, Take the helmet of salvation yes, and the sword of the spirit, yes, which is the word of God. Yes, Praying always. Yes, get ready, man. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. Can I? Is that all right? Oh, to me, is that all right? Get ready, man. Because when you get on this side, the devil gonna come at you. Has the devil ever came at you? The only thing you can say is Jesus. Jesus. Say, say Jesus. What's his name? What's his name? What's his name? Who can save you? Who will make you whole? Demons tremble at that name. I said, demons tremble at the name of Jesus. See, Stanley, what I love about you, you preaching this word, man. You ain't trying to entertain nobody. You preaching this word. We need old time fashioned preachers like you and I. That when you come in here, you better bring your sword. Oh, well, you know, they, you know, they, they don't sing enough for me. The word of God will direct your path. We have so much to be thankful for. I said we have so much to be thankful for. If God has done anything for you, someone say thank you. Pastor Stanley, God's been so good to me. And I told Pastor Stanley this when I walked in. My dad, 80 years old, went to the doctor this past Tuesday. Went into the office. And prior to that, my two older brothers in Texas said, Her, he ain't going to listen to nobody but you. So I called him up. I said, listen. I heard you losing weight. I heard you ain't taking care of your body. Go to the doctor. I ain't going no doctor. I said, I may have to fly up there and we'll both fight, but I'm going to take you to the doctor. So he went on to the doctor. The doctor found spots on his liver. Can I tell you? Life is real. See, but it don't affect you. It don't bother you. Can you imagine at Dr. Phillips High School, when that shooter came in, that affects some of us, right? But when it's down in South Florida, it ain't going to affect you because you don't know too many people. But it affected me because two weeks ago, I was sitting right there. That's why I have a lot to be thankful for. So I just want to sing thank you. Without further ado, He's a man with a plan. And you can call him Stan. A true man of God that will give the shirt off of his back for you. So we go sing just a little bit. I remember you. I remember you. Yes, sir. Would you please put your hand together? So, this is going to be an annual thing. Hopefully, you invite me back next year. <laughs> but, Stanley, I want to sing thank you.
Y'all don't know nothing about that. Y'all don't know nothing about that. Whoa. I love amazing grace. Something about grace. You know, grace you don't deserve. I said grace you didn't do nothing deserve. It's a free gift. Yes, sir. If I had a million dollars and I just give it to you, it's free. When I think about the goodness. Do you feel it? Amazing grace. Amazing grace. I'm going to leave. And I'm going to leave singing this song. And I, and I hope y'all remember this. It's real simple. I woke up this morning with my mind. Come on. Stand on Jesus. Stand up. Come on. I woke up this morning with my mind. Presentations, amen. amen. Pastor Austin, Pastor Walls. Yeah, that's a little good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a little Hennessy without the C. It's just him. You know, Hennessy is just him. You got to see for yourself. Amen. But this is for you and your ladies uh, that they might partake in you and. Go back to the first book of the Bible with Brim Knight. Yes, they might, yeah, yeah. They'll get on the way home. Yes, Lord. Amen. Put your hands together for prayer. My, my brother, Pastor Austin. Amen. I, I see him and him and brother Herc can make a great tag team, don't they? Yeah. Amen. I love them for all that they've done. I want to send regards to Pastor McBean, who came by here to go to a 6 o'clock service. We thank God for him today. Amen. Uh, to my brother Elder Herring in the back, bless you, sir, for being with us today. Amen. Minister and Sister Parker, bless you, boy. Amen. Forever supporting me. Uh, do you have anything, darling? Anything? Mama, you got anything you want to say today? Yeah, I'll come over there, too. Got all your little bunnies with you. Put your African attire, your African bunny today. Praise God. You want to tell you anything, Mom? I would just like to say that I am full, just running over with the Holy Ghost. And that I have truly, truly enjoyed myself today. And I love you all, everyone in here. God bless you. And Go through one more weekend and all of us will speak. 
your kids and everybody. I'll give my daughter some time to put something together. Uh, you put the hands together for the uh, little first dog over there. You got to hear her preach. Huh? She heavy wood now. So you know. She like a dad to pray for her. She, you know, she don't fix her words at all. But she work God still working with her. Amen. Amen. She believe in a good word. To my great church, best side, church, my side. Yeah. Thank you, baby. Thank you. I have to get what I can, three and under. They seem to be the only obedient people in the building sometimes. Three and under. Amen. So we thank God for them. Uh, let us just continue to pray in the Lord. We have one more weekend and listen. We, we don't have words to thank you. We know this has been a taxing month. We know that we probably have, you have probably been asked to do more in service and probably in sewing that you may have done all year long prior to. But let me tell you something. You, 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 whatever you have invested, it's on good ground. Yes. Amen? Amen? I promise you, Amen. you will not be disappointed Amen. in what God is going to take you to the next level by investing and this man and woman and fellow family of God. Amen? Amen. And what you're willing to, 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 to invest in this ministry itself. Amen? Amen? For this is God's church now. Amen? Amen. And we are all bodies and, and the, the members in the body of that. And so we thank you. I want to give honor to my good friend, my co-worker, Evangelist, Tom, because you're on the Tom, because came and gave the opening prayer. Powerful woman of God. Amen? Amen. And to her pastor, Pastor Beecher, Russ Beecher, for allowing her to come over. And, and you know when you live right, you can come, you can call and ask somebody for somebody, and they don't have no problem sending somebody. Amen. Amen. When they know they're going to a place, they're gonna be well taken care of. Amen. 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 And be treated like family. Amen. 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 Uh, if all hearts and minds are clear, has God and God not been good? Yes. Amen. Amen. We will come now. And I didn't get your name, creature. Tom Johnson. Amen. Amen. Well, I didn't know who you were. That's what I was trying to. Now, now I see your face. We met somewhere. Oh, you sang too. Huh? Hey, Amen. One of them Hicks people. Huh? Yeah, all them folks sang. I ain't no singer. I ain't gonna tell you that. I, I hold a note. And hope the Lord do the rest. I try to mesmerize him with the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. We thank God for that. But we thank God for all of you. All hearts and minds are clear. We will come now and let the church say Amen. Amen. Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen. God has spoken. Let the church say amen. Father, Lord, we thank you for this service on tonight. Lord, we ask you to give us traveling mercy, Lord, as we make our way home, Lord. Lord, we let that word be a nourishment to our body, Lord, that, that we all have a mind to stay straight and want to be straight. Hallelujah. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I ask blessings over everybody's life that come to play the part in your church on tonight, Lord. In Jesus' name, let everybody say amen. amen.
attention. I have a cell phone here.
Did I press finish? Did I press finish, right?